What's up? Hi, everybody. So, vlog number two, the redo. So, what was crazy fool talking about the redo? Me, yesterday I taped this vlog, it got erased. Here I am redoing it, or the remix, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Here we are. Um, enjoy. I, it's interesting. I, I'm kind of glad that we're doing this redo because some thought processes have changed and you know some every day is a little bit different so it's actually going to be a very different vlog than what I taped yesterday. So what are we talking about today? Oh moaning and groaning? No. I've decided that I will update on some of the events in my life, the big three that I talked about in the first vlog, my big move, my uh, se relationship separation, medical even at, at some point. Um, but I'm not going to dwell on it. Uh, there's some other stuff going on in my life. Not all rain clowns and doom and gloom, though it feels like that this year. I'm sure it feels like that for most of you this year. Because this year has really sucked for everybody. And I'm coming to realize that that's, it's, I'm, not in, I'm not alone in this. I'm not alone in dealing with and tackling more than I can handle. But yet every day I handle more and more and more. And I'm coming out okay. Um, there's a gif that I sent the snacks crew that's uh, Spider-Man dodging lightning bolts. And I said, that's it, that's me, that's my mantra now. I'm gonna keep dodging those do uh, lightning bolts until I get strong and superhero and there you go. Um, so I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore. Uh, talking to the snacks crew last night was eye-opening because they're very honest and they're very, they don't pander to my doom and gloom and moan and groan. They challenged me with very specific um, you know, internal questions. You know, what is really going on under there? And for uh, one of them, a couple days ago, I identified that I just didn't want the change. And that was so very true. But the more I think about it is why? Why don't I want the change? It's because it's comfort versus, you know, something new, something, uh, you know, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of the change. Um, but then another one challenged me last night with asking me, am I just making excuses to avoid the change? Very insightful, because probably, yes. So I'm learning to accept what is, to look at what um, I'm dealing with in what may be, instead of what can go wrong. Um, and put one foot forward and just challenging myself. Um, it's, a, it's about me and the relationships around me that are all going through change. So we'll talk more about the move later in a different vlog and um, you know some challenges with that and some excitement with that and you know some fears and, and wants. There's all sorts of emotions running through my head with the, with the move, but we're not talking about the move today. What we are talking about today is we are talking about something very special. This is not gonna be a doom and gloom video, though I am gonna have a little rant at the end. We're not having vlogs without a little rant. That you will get from me every vlog. You don't like it. Learn to love it. I'm learning to just love some things. Love my rants. There's some truth in there. There's some knowledge in there. And there's also a whole lot of stupidity. But they're entertaining nonetheless. So, what are we dealing with today? Well, we are dealing with... Oh, first... What's all this background? What's going on in here? What the hell is this mess? This is it. What you're seeing right now, and I will talk about reveals and stuff. What you're seeing right now is the infamous one hall and we're going to do a, a separate vlog the next one on just this room and um, go into some in-depth details that will also include some medical stuff so that will be kind of the personal stuff we'll go into the next vlog but um, I finally have shown this room in depth to um, this next team and um, the response that I got was overwhelming because to me this has been so private and so personal that it, actually opening it up and, and seeing to people um, it was was scary and we'll talk about why next vlog so stay tuned next vlog if you want to know the backstory you're not going to see all this in light today I will show a couple areas today but why we're in here I'm first of all I'm going to vlog in here every vlog now I think until it comes down and even even vlog the it coming down and the emotional part of it coming down um, but we're talking about a special piece in this room that I have finally obtained and that is a wand, which is, if you saw our, our show last night, um, it wasn't last night, it was Friday, I revealed it. I, sh I actually showed it off 
and to powder collectors out there, you know what these wands are and where they come from. For me, why this one is special is it was the last one. I now own all of the official Noble Collection wands. And this one took me over two years to obtain. It's one of the rarest ones out there as far as numbers are made and processed. You can't find it. It's just, you've got to catch it when one pops up. And I never caught it when one pop, you know, popped up. I think there's only around 1,000 or 1,500 of them made. Potter fans, please correct me if I'm wrong. I just know that this is producing a little bit smaller numbers than the rest of them for the celebrations. These are from the uh, Wizarding World celebrations every year that Universal hosts. And... Um, I'm I'm happy. I'm so happy to have it. I'm so happy to have it before this room comes down So I can kind of complete the look and take some pictures of ideas that I have this room is not finished And it sits as a moratorium of when I got the news that I was gonna move I'm not gonna work on it anymore I'm gonna leave it in the state that it is that it's at because I'm gonna hold those ideas to mold into new ideas when I get to uh, you know a new spot to put it up and um, It will change and it will there will be different reasons to put up different things and and it will it's ever evolving this room is is not just putting stuff on the walls or collecting things there, there's a lot that goes into it blog number three so this this one right here is extremely special to me because like i said there was a lot of blood sweat and tears to get to get this thing and it is the 2018 celebration one and it um i finally got it and that's thanks to tracy and um I won't give out all her information, but a good friend that I met through one of the Potter uh, collecting sites. If um, I'm going to send her a link to this, if she wants to say hey in the comments, hey, love you. Not only did I meet somebody who was very special, I've met a friend, somebody that I have talked to in the middle of the night, somebody that I can discuss things with, and um, she's been incredible. And thank you. So I'm not giving you info where you're at, who you are. If you want to comment in there, please, please feel feel free to do so. But this is the 2018 one, and. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to put it where, where it was going to go for a while. Um, that changes all the time here, but I did have a spot for it saved for a long time. So I'm going to actually going to do the last placement of, of this and then it will, the one hub will sit as it is. And as we do the vlogs and I go over different areas, I'll show you some areas that are incomplete and some ideas that I've had um, at, at this time. So we'll do that in just a second. She also sent along. Um, a couple of freebies and you think oh little nine instance or freebies or little you know uh, fun thing. this meant a whole hell of a lot to me because it's it is crazy how in tune a person that you just met and you've been working with for a couple months taps into you and what what was so special about this is um i grew up in england she's from england and uh collectible racers are a big thing there so this is a very um cultural thing you don't see a lot of these in america but um this is a, a little harry potter um, collectible eraser, which is super cute because this brings back my childhood, these little you know, erasers. And then this is so important. I, as part of my therapy, prescribed by a doctor, we identified years ago something that, an activity that I can do that's mindless, that takes me out of the state of anxiety and stuff that I'm in, and it was creating a list. And she sent me a Harry Potter collectible list pad. That may seem so silly to a lot of people, but I, if you watch the video, um, I, I was floored w w when I opened it up because as important, it, the wand is so important, this was very meaningful um, because it, it was me. And even I think the wand, that, um, one of the snacks teams, just says, oh my God, that's so you. When, when, when she saw it, when, when I opened it, reveals it on the show. So Tracy, again, kudos. Um, so let's get to, oh, the, why would this is blood, sweat, and tears? First off, for a couple of years, I couldn't find one. Um, I never snatched one from eBay. A couple of them popped up on Macari, a couple of them popped up on eBay. Never grabbed one right at the moment. They were always gone, you know, lightning speed. So I reached out to Potter Collector Groups on Facebook and such and said, hey, I'm doing this room. I'm collecting all the Noble Collection ones that I have been doing since, you know, th the first ones came out. Um, and I cannot find this one. This is it. This is the last one in my collection. And so I... Um, reached out within it within that afternoon i had a couple responses but one response i got from a seller it was a go and we were communicating and then there was a little bit of you know uh, complications with with timing and then i was kind of screwed over and that was really disappointing to me because this was a member of our collecting community who basically shut down and you know kind of blocked the whole conversation and then i saw that the same particular one that he was selling um on ebay and 
you know, whatever. Joke's on him because I made a friend. I made a better transaction. I didn't deal with any shadiness going, going forward. What we did deal with going forward was this hit the mail service, international mail service, right during this whole COVID and postal service uh, crisis. The US Postal Service is a mess. There have been several um, uh, policies that were already instated, you know, regardless of what you see on the news, regardless of, oh, we're, you know, we, we're not gonna do any policy. Well, guess what, the policy's already done. This is the rant, by the way. Um, so the post office, I've dealt with twice now in a mess, in a complete mess, and I'll rant about the other one here in a second. But what we found was, is this went to customs in Chicago, and all of a sudden it was just held. And yes, uh, customs is longer, and we absolutely accept that. But this particular package went kind of strange on the radar. It, it, it went all over the place. It was tracking in LA, it was tracking in Chicago, then it stopped tracking altogether. My tracking uh, you erased from the uh, tracking system. Um, Tracy had to put out a call to the Royal Air, Air, thank you for doing so, to find out you know what was going on. And then randomly, two months later, out of the blue, it appears at my doorstep. And not only did it just randomly appear at my doorstep, I got a notification that morning that it was at the wrong zip code and therefore couldn't be delivered. The post office issued me that warning. Well, it showed up in my house after I'm ranting and raving at the post office all day long. And then I look at the package, there was no missed zip code. There was nothing wrong on the address on that package. They, the post office, issued that zip code in some little sticker that they did. But as far as the shipping label and all of that that's on there, it was not wrong. So they caused all of this extra tension, and all of this extra drama that was completely unnecessary because I could have just held back and waited through the customs process to be slow and absolutely handle. But instead we got chaos after chaos after chaos with for no reason. There was no reason for it whatsoever. So that's part one of you know, the post office being a mess. Part two is... I am selling a lot of stuff on Macari to downsize and get, get ready for the move. And I sent out six packages on the same day at the same location. Um, and they all, none of them scanned. None of them went into the system. And I found out that this is starting to be a very common place um, for, for packages and first class mail. And so I had to play the dance because I was the seller with Macari and with these um, uh, five buyers, it's five, five packages. Um, and every day, I was watching and I was updating. Well, the first one, about four days later, randomly appeared in a tracking. The tracking updated. And then they got the out for delivery, the delivery. The tracking only updated on the day of delivery. And this was only Fullerton, California, which I could drive there in an hour and a half. And so when that happened, the next day, the next one updated. Same pattern. The third one, the fourth one. They all, in, in, in complete succession, they all updated post office, out for, out for delivery, delivery. My number five, I started dealing with some big drama. And this was Macari created, not me. Macari all of a sudden jumped into the picture and said, at the 10th day, we're going, we have to issue your buyer refund. And I'm like, whoa, I have all of this communication. I have all of this facts of all these tracking numbers, exactly how this laid out. I can show you my buyer and me have been communicating almost all the way through. And then he stopped communicating with me. So he probably issued this complaint. And I presented all those facts to them and they said, well, the 10 day policy holds. And then I looked on their site, right on the front of the site, everybody can go to Mercari right now. Right on the front of their site, it says, USPS will probably be delayed or can be delayed um, for, for packages. But for me in this problem, the 10 day thing was gonna help. So then we're gonna issue this guy refunds, hundred dollar figure. We're gonna issue this guy a refund on Saturday. During Saturday's events, when I was working with the management of Mercari to give them all the facts, to give them all photo evidence of all this happening, all of a sudden his tracking updated exactly as I predicted and exactly as I communicated with him at the post office that deliver on Monday. I told him Monday, I told him the tracking will only update when it gets to your city's post office. And still we went through all of this drama for nothing. He's going to get his package on Monday exactly as I've been told. And Macari had to eat crow and not issue this refund. So the rant, why this is important. The post office is a mess. Caution while using the post office that you may go through similar experiences. You know, a lot of people are not believing things they see in fake news and all this bullshit because nothing's happened to them. It's happening. The policies that were already in place, you can look it up. The changes that he made, the new postal master general that he made, he told the public. It's in a letter. 
those those policies were unstated. And so these things that are happening is is happening to first class male predominantly. It's happening because they have cut labor. What can you do? That was my phone's way of telling me, shut the hell up, rant over. So, so now you hear what is going on with the US Post Office. There you go, done, buyer beware. All right, now, I think I switched the setting of this. Um, this is going to be, bear with us. If you just saw this little hiccup, this little blackout, because I scratched my ear, learning. This is gonna be a second part or we're going to be able to edit to get together. Bear with us over at Late Night Sex. We're all brand new to this. We're all kind of through the years of kind of just stuck in our old grumpy ways. Um, thank you, Ellis Ray, for doing that to me. But stuck in our own grumpy ways and just resist kind of broadening our horizons. And so if I can figure out how to just put these two parts together, then you're seeing me rant about this for no reason. Enjoy. It's entertaining. If I don't clobber this together we are actually going to like the fools we are we're going to post it in a part a and a part b and you're going to laugh about it why it's entertainment so what i was going to do is place this sucker in this place that it was supposed to be um in the one hall it's the last placement i wanted to do that move to kind of finalize this incarnation of the one hall and it be what it is and then I'll show you, like I said earlier in the vlog, I'll show you some really completed areas that I'm very proud of. I will show one at the end of this video, or I will show you, um, and then after that, I'll show you some incomplete areas and some ideas I had. Um, if you wanna see more, if you wanna see some, something specific, feel free, this is, this is to you, to hear my gripes, complaints, to learn something, to laugh, to cry, whatever, but this is special to me, so I will brag about it all day long, I will answer questions about it whenever you want, um, or, I'll be proud of it and, and walk away from it and we'll start anew whenever it can be resurrected. So, well, I don't touch your ear. Okay, so what I have decided though, based on this little technical glitch, I hope we don't put nothing in the title. This is not clickbait. I did not false advertise. We just decided on something a little bit more fun. You will see the placement of this wand on Facebook Live. Stay tuned for uh, dates and times. Those of you that may or may not be watching this video later in the future and can't stumble across the Facebook Live, we will post a video of that on the channel as well a little bit later, some, sometime later. We'll post the actual video of the Facebook Live. Um, but this is a way so that you can, um, you know, I guess it's kind of clickbaity. I don't know, I don't believe in all that mess. But um, it, it's, it's a way for you to be introduced to the channel if you're tuning in for different reasons and see what we're all about. We're just three, pe you know, four people, five people with our tech guy that just sit around, we blabber, we talk about all, all sorts of different stuff. We really look like fools doing it because, you know, we're just throwing ourselves out there. What, you know, what the hell? But for us, we enjoy doing it. And I think that's kind of infectious. I think people can, you know, kind of uh, see who we are we're, we're kind of raw about that we're very very new so it's real real good a real real low tech enjoy why it's entertainment um but we're getting better we're trying some new things and this vlog channel is one way to try those new things so again we will post the date and time of the facebook live if you're interested in seeing the placement of this one it's just gonna be very quick facebook live if you join us you can ask questions whatever if you just want to watch that's fine too if you don't care then watch one of our other videos but check out our site um, subscribe if you want to uh, please you know uh, make a comment our channel is about engagement enjoy we, you know, we talk about um, entering the conversation we want people to engage we want people to talk about things we want people to debate people to laugh cry you know celebrate together because that's what this channel was really founded on was three people who were all you know a home alone and then our our, our fourth who was in another podcast with me, our stream with me, she, she uh, jumped right back in and joined us. Then we got our tech guy and things just really rolling along. And what we found is a lot of things just internally just hadn't changed. We were about engagement. We were just talking. And we do some special shows now. We do, we'll do anything. We do all sorts of different entertainment. Right now, our big success is, is we're covering RuPaul. The, Ru, the, you know, the whole RuPaul craze that's going on right now. Those are a lot of fun. Um, and it's fun to see you know different people from all across the the net uh, joining us on those. Um, we talk about American Horror Story because that's where that's where we all met is through um, 
uh, Mary Moody's channel on uh, American Horror Story. We talk about other horror films. We do trivia. We do unboxing. We do just stupid nights where we just all just sit around and just act, act silly. One of those may be coming up soon. So check out our site. Check out our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell us we're stupid. Whatever. Engage. It's about engagement. So this is hold on till later. What we are going to do is we are going to um, show. I'm going to have to do a little tricky because it's going to be... Uh, change my mind. I will show you that one area so that we'll make the Facebook uh, live video um, a little bit worth it. I will show you the one area because I have to redo the camera uh, um, configuration. Um, I'll show it with Facebook Live. Facebook Live will be coming up this week. As soon as we get these videos posted, whether it be one together or two, one, one two, um, I'll post the date and time for the face, Facebook Live. So, there we are. You, that's what this guy has to say. If you don't like it, let me know. If you like it, ask me questions, engage, 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 engage. That's what late night sex is all about. Thanks for listening. There's always going to be a rant. There's always going to be something special. See you in the next one. All right, see you on the Facebook Live, then the next one. Bye.